the Chinese government, in an attempt to spur economic growth in China, which is unquestionably slowing, have changed the rules. There's traditionally rules on you have to put down a, pot, a deposit when you buy a new car in China. Now, the Chinese government, they're trying to get people to buy more cars. So they changed the rules. And as a result, Tesla are now offering what seems to be a deal that's almost too good to be true. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Guys, Tesla has it's changed its loan offers now. You can get a zero interest loan from Tesla for five years. Zero interest for five years. I mean, this seems insane because you almost don't lose any value. Obviously, the inflation, right? Inflation is going to be at least a few percent uh, five years, four, four years from now. So in theory, that would mean Tesla would be losing money in, well, for the entire life of the loan. Now, I know Tesla's got to make a profit on the sale of the car, but this is to try to spur uh, local purchasing. Uh, China's, uh, China's EV market is a complete bloodbath. Companies are selling EVs at such incredibly low prices, well below cost, uh, well, well, well below cost. Uh, no one is selling them at a profit other than, well, BYD. Absolutely no one. If you have a look at their uh, their actual financial statements. I can't find a single company outside of BYD who's profiting. I can find a lot that are making billions of dollars in losses though. Anyway, the point is here, the EV makers and car companies are trying to get market share. They're trying to get rid of legacy automakers. And yeah, it's starting to work. But as a result, right, Tesla is, is under some pretty, pretty fierce competition. Now, Tesla just brought out a new marketing campaign showing Battery degradation in their batteries is, is incredibly low. They're saying it's about 10% after 200,000 miles. Uh, after seeing that, I did a lot of research and looked at lots of different cars that have done that range, asked questions from lots of owners. Turns out Tesla were right. They weren't making that up. Uh, in fact, sometimes it's even better than that. Anyway, Tesla is offering a limited time finance policy um, with down payments though. This is apparently, Tesla now does require an $11,000 down payment. Uh, to get this loan. But the Chinese government have made it so Tesla doesn't have to do that. They used to have to, they don't have to anymore. So some of Tesla's rivals are offering $0 down, interest-free as well. Anyway, Tesla's not doing that, but they are offering some pretty amazing deals. 0% interest loan for five years. That was according to a Tesla uh, marketing post on social media platform Weibo, which was, I think, yesterday. Customers who buy a Tesla directly can, in, can get 0% interest for three years if they purchase a Tesla vehicle through an old car trade-in. So if they trade their old car in, they can get a 0% interest loan for five years. Under the three-year zero interest loan offer, customers can make monthly repayments of what well, very small amounts for the Tesla Model 3 real drive version, around about $700 per month. Um, for the Model Y rear-wheel drive, it's uh, slightly more. It's about $800 per month. Not much at all. So about $200 repayments per week for a new Tesla Model Y. Under the five-year 0% interest loan offer, monthly repayments are even lower. They're only about $400 for the Model 3 for a month, so $100 a week. A Model Y is around $500 a month. So what's that, about $124 a week, so $123 a week, something like that. Very small amount of money to go and get a new car. You can see why a lot of people would probably be tempted. If you buy a Model 3 or Model Y before the 30th of April, uh, Tesla, you can apply for the five-year interest loan offer if you complete delivery by the 30th of June. But you need to put down a down payment, which needs to be 80,000 RMB, which is about 11,000 US dollars. This is the first time Tesla has ever offered a zero interest loan in China. Uh, as Tesla, have, well, they've never needed to do this before. In March, Tesla offered customers in China who bought already produced, as in inventory, Model 3s and Model Ys, loan rates as low as 2% per year. Um, and that actually translates to annualized interest rates starting at 3.65%. It's quite confusing how it works in China, but 2% is not really 2%, it's actually 3.65. Tesla delivered 386,000 vehicles globally in the first quarter, which was down 8.5% year over year and down 20% from the fourth quarter of 2023. Now, Tesla may have a bounce back year. 
Who knows? I'm not sure, but I have just seen uh, some sales numbers from Tesla in Europe, which are looking actually surprisingly good. But of course, the majority of Tesla's set vehicle sales are actually in North America, in the United States, uh, Canada, and China, really the United States and China. They're the two biggest countries for vehicle sales. Now, if you look at smaller countries, Tesla's done really well. I mean, in Australia, their, their sales just went up by a staggering 85% in March. Uh, they've had similar months in different European countries. But yeah, obviously that doesn't represent the entire planet. So you can see why Tesla is, well, having to resort to some pretty extreme measures. We've seen uh, the price of uh, cars like the Xiaomi SU7 attract over a thousand pre-orders. It's a very good car. Um, or could be, maybe, not sure yet. We've got to have to see production vehicles yet. I mean, of course, there has been um, a lot of social media storm around that car for good and for bad. But there is some serious competition for Tesla in China. You can see why Tesla is doing this. I think Tesla is, a, is going to probably release the Model Y Highland as quickly as they possibly can. Within probably the next four to six months, I'm thinking. And they're kind of just holding on until then. All that and the Model 2. Thanks for watching.